We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Atlanta Braves and the Chicago Cubs. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Here's Ender Inciarte, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but a foul ball here, 0-1. His past history against John Lester, he's got one hit in 16 tries. Behind 0-2 now. And he takes strike three called on the fastball, and the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Now the first pitch here from Lester. No balls and a strike to count. And we are a long way from summer tonight, and even 40 degrees at first pitch. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. In there, strike one. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. First pitch on its way. Lifted in the air out to right. Hayward on the run. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1 0. Stepping in for the Braves, Nick Markakis. And now the Braves look to put more across the plate in this opening frame. Bryant is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Stepping up to the plate, Ian Happ. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch coming, here it is. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. Here's Chris Bryant now. Career numbers against Julio Terran. He's 0 for 8. He's also gone down on strikes five times. From the stretch, here's the pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. And therefore, it is Marcakis, and that's your first out. Digging in, Anthony Rizzo. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. Rizzo. First pitch of the at bat, and it's fouled away. A one pitch on its way. Hit down the line at first. Full extension, but he can't make the catch. That's strike one. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. And that's through for a hit. The throw to third. Oh, and he's not going to make it to third as he's gunned down by the right fielder, and that's a tough second out. Now the Cubs' four-hole hitter, Wilson Contreras. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Lifted down the line in left. Santana is after it, and they can't run it down. This one is launched. Look at this. Into the bleachers and gone. Now in the box, Kyle Schwarber. Career numbers against Julio Terrell. He's gone three for six. First pitch on its way. No balls in one strike. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Tehran has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. 
Matt, every team is looking for a guy like this. In a day and age where we're going to the bullpens more early and more often, you need at least one or two guys into the rotation that have the chance to get you into the seventh or eighth inning, and he's definitely one of those guys. Hit in the air to right field. Marquecus has a read on it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. The next to bat for Atlanta, Johan Camargo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Hit on the ground to short. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Now at the plate, Danny Santana. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The wind up and the 0 1. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Throw on to first and very quickly two up two down to start the second. So digging in now Dansby Swanson to work on keeping this top of the second alive. Skied into very shallow right. Hayward is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. Digging in Addison Russell. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Here's the first pitch to him. Line towards center field. Inciarte patrolling center makes the play one out. Ready now, Jason Hayward. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hold high in the air out to right field. Marcakis has a read on it. Two down. Here's Javier Baez to try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Hey, I don't know what happened in between innings, but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second inning. After going out in the first, I thought it was going to be a super short out. Drilled right back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. So a nice job there to fight off an 0-2 pitch and keep the inning alive for at least one more batter. Chris Jimenez is into the on deck circle now as he'll pinch hit for the pitcher Lester. Chris Jimenez. Baez, runner at first with two gone. Oh my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? Into the bleachers and out of here. So in now for Chicago. Ian Happ. He reached on a single in his first throw. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Digging in for his second at bat, Chris Bryant. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. High in the air out to center field. And Ciarte's there. And the inning is over. Kurt Suzuki will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 24, Kurt Suzuki. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Looking up is Contreras. Gone! Here's Ender Inciarte. First time up, he went down looking. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. This is skied into short left center. Schwarber moving in. He's there, but oh, he missed it. He's around second now as they're still searching for it out there. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Although there are a couple of bases open, we'll see if they think about working around it. It's way the 0 1 pitch pulled toward right center field. 
Catch made here in medium deep right center and the runners breaking from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Into the box now. Freddie Freeman 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Shot back up the middle. And Freeman's aboard. It's a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. He hit the corner and tries for third. Tying run headed home. He'll come across to score and the Blaves have tied it. It's a 4-4 game. And now the Atlanta number four hitter Tyler Flowers. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Bryant is over now and he's got it for route number two. Here's Nick Markakis now the right fielder. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. He's been getting lit up all game, and there's a common denominator. He keeps missing right down the middle of the plate. Case in point with that last one. Popped him up. Contreras waits on it. And that retires the side. Chase Whitley, six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Striding in, Anthony Rizzo. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming, here it is. This is in the air to left. Santana giving chase. He's there and records the first down. How about it? Ready to take his hacks again. Wilson Contreras as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Now a hard liner. But foul. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Moving under it, Santana. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Kyle Schwarber, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is fouled at the plate. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Whitley. Originally from the state of Alabama, he was selected in the 15th round back in the 2010 first year player draft. I know this guy. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Justin Wilson, a six foot two inch left hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. These are the at bats that can just flat out frustrate you. You go up there with a plan to work the count, and now you find yourself down 0 2 scratching your head because every quadrant's open for the pitcher. Now to the plate, Danny Santana. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And he fouls this one off. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. 0 2 pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he will make it into third with a one out triple. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. Lifetime numbers against Justin Wilson. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. Charlie Culberson will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Skied into straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. And that's the third out. Daniel 
Winkler, right. right handed reliever, Number standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Leading off the fourth inning. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. Here's Jason Hayward now. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Popped him up. Flowers over to his left. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Riding in once again, Javier Baez. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. Santana is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ender Inciarte. He reached base on an error and later came around to score last time up. Now the 0 1. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that thing. Oh, he may have been a little disoriented there or something. That's going to allow his man to reach first safely. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hayward has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Digging in and looking for more. Freddie Freeman is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. I know he got a swinging miss right there, but that was a hittable location to a really good hitter. I don't know if he gets those back if he continues to miss in those spots. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. And he gets him to lift one high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Russell has got it and the side is retired. Albert Almora will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five, Albert Almora. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Guide into very shallow right. Albies onto the grass, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. There's a swing and a high pop up. Swanson is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Digging in once again, Chris Bryant, over two from him so far in this one. This guy has been unbelievable. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go on. They win it. Santa Maria. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one, and this man was a big reason why. He's our tops player of the game. Well, when your one hit of the game is a home run and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his team to a win, and that's all you can hope for as a player.